Tyros campaign asks on the technology side of things, what advice would you give to settings that want to suddenly inject technology into an otherwise magic rich world? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. I think it would be the same. I mean, when we were talking about disrupting, maybe it's you know, the idea that it's always the material resources, right? So I think that that would be if there was, especially when, when Janet, you were talking about all the rigmarole that, that accompanies and the ritual and all those kind of things. If there's, if there's something that is deep seated in that community that they have value with this magic, and then all of a sudden you come up with, uh, you know, the printing press and all that magic, it's done 10 times faster, it's done cheaper, you don't need to do it anymore. And it's like, but this was like part ritual to the deities that we believe in. It's like, no, we don't even need to worry about that anymore, right? Here's a printing press, we can just have a book tomorrow, right? Instead of taking 40 hours and the community coming together and weeping tears to make the paper dry, you know what I mean, whatever. It's like, oh, that would really make some people mad, right? You know, it's, yeah. you're disrupting- Tea ceremony place. versus tea bag, essentially. Yeah, 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 exactly. And that's where, yeah, that exact, that exact idea that there's always gonna be people who are, uh, have vested interests in keeping things the way that they are and then any new technology that's gonna come in. So I would just say thinking through the way too that, um, I mean, this is one of the things if you look at the history of, uh, the, of Christianity, in which we, suddenly when Bibles can be distributed to everybody and everyone, literacy rates can rise and you can start reading, that's like the number one time in which heresy jumps up as soon as people can start reading their own books, right? Heresy starts jumping up because they're making their own conclusions and priests are saying no, Number one, that was a typo. Number two, you're not smart enough to be able to interpret that, right? So I think that that's one really easy way to be able to say, okay, well, here's a, that's a real world example, right? Of it, not necessarily magic, but uh, you know, a religion where a technology comes in and suddenly redistributes things in ways that the people who are on the top with their hands on the levers of power did not appreciate and did not really want. But once the cat's out of the bag, you know, it's sort of hard to pull back in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Suedian. I'm terrible at reading usernames, uh, has uh, mentioned that, yes, indeed, Terry Pratchett in some of his books examines yeah. the effects of sudden new technology. And he has uh, what he calls the devices, which are very small cubes of immense power, and they are essentially uh, perpetual motion devices. So they can create perpetual motion from nothing. They, they are literally black boxes mm -hmm. of black box design. Um, but they suddenly introduce technology, and that's very, very interesting. So any way in which you can have a sudden burst of power that can stop powering things. Um, or indeed, if you are in a high magic set, set, setting, there is the option, of course, to have other worlds, multiverse theory, have a, a rent in the world, have somebody appear that wasn't there before by some magical means, portal hopping, whatever, that suddenly comes, by the way, you know this nuclear material that you've been staying away from because it's super dangerous, you're gonna cool stuff with it. All of a sudden, your world is different. Yeah. It only takes, one guy make it, leaving his experiments to go moldy and discovering that actually it fought the bacteria to have penicillin. And that is the kind of stuff that could potentially spread very quickly and make a massive difference in your world. And of course, once something like that has come in, we've been talking a lot about te technologies and technology trees and technological development. Mm -hmm. Once people start thinking of that idea, once the first brick is laid, it doesn't take long and particularly if you have something like magical communication, it really doesn't take long for these things to spiral out of control. So that would be a great way to inject magic into your world, sorry, to inject technology into your world in a very quick way, to have one discovery that spirals out of control and causes a massive, massive change in the technological scene or even the, te the way that people think about technology. Yeah, and I think even to add on to that, so if you've got that idea that you've got this thing that's created and spiraled out of control, that could even be interesting if that event happened 20 years ago, and now what the, the tension is, them trying, you know, the society trying to get it under control. Like, we didn't know what it was, law of unintended consequences, it broke all this stuff. But people also, not only does it spread very fast, those in power do not waste much time trying to figure out how are we, and it may be that, you know, 10 or 20% of the old guard are now completely um, now out of power and they no longer have the control, but there are always people who are like setting up, okay, like, are we going to tax it? Are we going to, you know, do some other way of being able to set up control mechanisms? And that could, I mean, and that's one of those cases too, in which if that, if you're feeling like that thing that you just came up with is a little cliche or you feel like you've seen it before, well, then that might be a way of thinking about the next thing is this is the first generation, a kid, first generation kid. Who's, we can see this right now with the way that internet is being policed, right? It's, it's like now that we've had it for a little while, 
now the, the greater powers are coming in and trying to restrict access and do this, you know, for what, whether you think that's for good or bad, bad reasons. But that's an example of, of being sort of on the front lines of how that major change may not be even the most interesting thing. The more interesting thing is how is it being structured? How is it being trying to control now that the, the cats are, are out of the bag? Absolutely. Um, I just noticed that there is a very moderately phrased note in uh, my production channel, which says, Golems! Golems <laughs> can freaking disrupt everything! Yeah, that's and that is, that's the clean version that I've just yeah. read to you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, going back to that question, um, Golems, Golems, Demetrius is, is very clear about this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, an, that's an interesting thing too, thinking about those intercultural exchanges. You know, we've got all these interesting cases in which there were animals and plants that were not supposed to be, were not intended to be on ships going from one culture to the other. And they have dramatic influences once they get there, right? So whether you call that, uh, that's an unintended consequence of the technology, I think, of bleeding over into another, into another society.